Um, hey guys, so I just want to go over a couple of methods to add visual effects, a little bit of appeal to the skin of a character um, or any surface actually, it doesn't have to be a, um, a skin character. Um, so what we're going to use, I just want to incorporate a little bit of Maya Mash, M-A-S-H, and we're going to try and just get some um, primitive objects that uh, move across the surface of a character as it um, as it's animated. So I'm going to just show you the little animation here um, during a class session, little walk cycle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to come across to Mash. Here we go, Mash. It's also up here, by the way. And start starting out in Mash, um, what we want to do is create a Mash network. But even before I hit that. I'm going to create my actual um, object that's going to move across the surface. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to go with a very simple um, primitive. So I'll just go with a, I'll just go with a cube. Oh, actually, we'll go with one of these um, cones. There we go. So we have this cone, and I'm just going to bring that surface where we can see it. And I'll also just hide the surface, so as we can see things a bit easier. I'll just reduce the size of this okay so we'll see all these and I'm going to keep them quite large so as we can actually see them move across the surface now I'll just move the pivot point down a little bit all right so there it is now what we do is go to mash as I mentioned earlier and click the very first one so create the uh, network there we go there's a network and what it does is distributes a whole bunch of those objects all right now these are like proxies by the way, you can add like hundreds, thousands of them and uh, uh, they really run fairly efficiently in Maya. So that's that one. Now what we want to do next is I'm going to create a, um, a curve on the surface of the skin. Right? How do I do that? Well I need to make the surface live with this one here, the far right. Uh, magnet make the selected object live there we go that should be a live surface now and what we'll do is we'll create create curve tools CV curve tool I'm gonna run it say along each leg and then around the tail and down the other leg so let's see what we get I'll start say here and I'm just running that up the leg okay down the tail. I won't go all the way to the tip. I'll just come up the other side. So I'm going to come around here. I'm doing this fairly quickly. So now I'm coming up the other side of the tail. And a little bit hard to see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to go into uh, number four. And just to confirm that. There we go. Down to say there. That'll do. So we have this curve that is wrapped onto the um, onto the surface. Well, if I hit number six, there we go. Now you can see it better. Okay. If you really wanted to, you could adjust these curves by going Control Vertex, right click, and move them over a bit. Alright, so all right. So we've got that in place, but it's not actually sticking to the surface. It's if I make the surface unlive now, if that's a term, notice it's just sticking in place. So what we want to do is stick <coughs> or wrap it to the skin. So we'll go constrain, oh sorry, not constrain, deform. Um, and I'll go a, where are we, um, wrap deformer, okay, and I'm actually going to click on the options, inclusive bind, oh, that should be okay, we'll see what we get, now what happens if I move, so there you go, now it's stuck to it, stuck to the surface, great, alright, neat, alright, so next up, let's go to our mesh network, Go to the attribute editor. There's our 
our mesh network remember we've got 10 objects and if you're wondering if you want to increase the distribu uh, distribution you can go mesh distribute here I'll up it to say 20 just for now all right and now we need to change linear to um, where is it actually no we'll leave it on linear all right now what we're going to do next is come back to our mesh one and we're going to add a curve this one here right so it will actually follow the curve so I click curve add curve node <coughs> now it says here's our curve node now it says accepts nerve curves so in our outliner here's my curve I'll middle mouse drag and drop it in here middle mouse clicking there we go all right so let's see oh and by the way step I set to one I believe and let's just see it looks like it's off of off of center at the moment so let's just adjust that so as you can see here um, right now they are offset they're way off of the mesh they're not sitting on the on the curve at all okay so let's fix that so to do that um, I, I changed the curve if you come down to step set that to one and then if you come back to the um, distribute right and change the um, distance in X to zero see by default it's probably 20 or 10 or so bring that right down okay the distance X should be zero um, you could say center distribution um, linear radial um, you can try some of those but I've always found that linear is the one you want to go for and now you can see they're all popping onto the surface now if I go back to that curve you can adjust the step right like that and just play it back and see what you actually get and it's moving along look at that okay so that's a really neat effect um, hopefully that's helpful um, another effect you could even go another mesh network so notice that you can actually um, say for example equal spacing um, change the roll amount you want to have some roll in there um, yeah anyway look there's a whole there's a couple of variables that you can play around with but um, that's quite useful um, let's see what it gets when I push play so there they are and they're adhering to the surface both sides it's wrapping around the other side um, yeah there it goes around the other side nice one okay thanks for watching um, next up actually I'll create another effect using the mesh network once again on the surface um, yeah so stay tuned